Hello and welcome to the Traveller Cars video blog once again. It's the 27th of December, we've just finished Christmas and we are currently living in a castle, the Tower of Halbar. This is the little cottage near the tower. Um, we'll just show you the small room in there, it's very nice I suppose. We've never used it. No, it, there's a little stove and everything, how lovely. Oh, they've got more fire starters there. Okay, grab the fire starters. We're, let's steal the fire starters. Uh, We've run out of fire starters. Is there any other... What have they got? They got a newspaper. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take that. So today we're going to have a quick tour. Well, a quick tour. I don't know how long it's going to take. It'll probably take all day. But we're going to have a tour of the tower where we've been living for this week. We will be leaving on the 29th to go to Edinburgh for Hogmanay, which will be fun. All right, let's go and have a look outside because we're in the cottage. Let's go have a look outside and see the tower from here. Whoa. Is that? Yeah, see the smoke? No. On the chimney. This is the Tower of Halbar behind me. That's where we've been living. It's a five-story building. Um, <clears throat> and it has all the, you know, mod cons except for Wi-Fi. But who needs Wi-Fi when you're in the middle of nowhere, right? So. We'll go and have a look at the tower because it's a nice tower, it's a big castle. The building was, uh, the tower was built somewhere between 1530 and 1580 um, as a response to a new law that was introduced stating that anyone with property worth over £100 had to build a defensive fortification somewhere on their land. So it is actually a defensive building. Um, I can't imagine that it was used as such though because well, to be honest, I think it would be overrun pretty quickly. It's kind of low in a valley, like there's a lot of hill areas around. It's not that high. So I can't imagine that it would be terribly useful as a war tower. Um, anyway, it was later um, used for other things like hol holiday home. And so currently it's um, owned by the Lockhart family, who are like lords or something, they're, so, they're someone important anyway, but um, it's ma managed by an organisation called the Vivit Trust, which looks after old buildings and makes them into holiday homes, I guess. So let's go around and inside the tower. So here's a nice metal container with a lot of wood. Now let's see if we're allowed in. Uh, it's Andrew. <laughs> Come on in then. Let's go in. There's a key. Ah. Come on. Oh. Alright, so, now watch your heads. Ha ha ha, get it? You're not actually here. So, there's a lot of low kind of... I'm not even sure why they bothered putting like this such a low kind of alcove here because you didn't really need stone here did you but anyway they have it um just for people to bang their heads all the doors are about that high um which either suggests that they didn't have a lot of space or that people in those times were midgets now i'll just take my boots off because we don't want to get mud everywhere it's been very muddy around here the cupboard <laughs> which is such an interesting thing to see. Yes, what a nice cupboard. I'll just close the cupboard. Okay, so that's a cupboard. Here is a toilet. Everyone loves a good toilet. It's a very cozy toilet. Used to be a cloak room. So it's cloak room. It smells like haddock in here because we cooked kippers. We had some kippers for breakfast and they were very tasty. And now, they smell. and now the whole kitchen smells like kippers. Um, so it's very lovely in here, but it smells a bit. So we may have to leave. Oh, but first let's, let's show them what we've been cooking up. So, Katrina had a little bit of a cooking spree yesterday, and we now have 
green sludge. Otherwise known Will as vegetable soup. soup. Delicious. And white sludge. Otherwise known as Grit. Grit, which sounds like sludge, mm. doesn't it? But and it is we very can have tasty. It with warm berries. Yes, we had it for dinner last night with butter and cinnamon, which was very tasty, but I'm actually more looking forward to the dessert version, which is with berries. Bottom level. Let's go up one floor. The stairs are really cool because they're all uneven, like they're proper, proper um, stone castle steps. The only problem with that is that it's very easy to fall over and bang your head on these really, really low stone arches. Here we have the best room, which is like the great, I think it's called the Great Hall. Yeah. Well, I call it the Great Hall. This is the Great Hall. Here we have a roaring fire, which has been keeping us warm on the late, cold, wintry nights. Um, other than that, if you look up, I don't know how clear it will be because it's quite dark on the ceiling. You can see the Lockhart coat of arms. There's a heart inside a lock. They're very punny. Ha ha ha. Um, and then there's some food on the ceiling up there as well. Geese, rabbit, duck, fox, and partridge. I don't think the fox is food. Oh, everything is food. There's a lot of hearts because the Lockharts were a loving and caring people or family. And all in all, it's a very pretty ceiling. Mum, that's sideways. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a, a um, photography camera. This is a boar. I'm not sure what it represents, but it's standing at the window. Okay, we won't be able to get right into it. But back here... There's a secret cabin with no lights, so you won't be able to see inside there. Check out these nice doors, which are really short. I can put my chin on the door. Actually, you know what? These doors might have been used for beheading people. Maybe. Maybe they would tie them like this and then slam the door closed when they were really angry. And that chopped their head off. I think we've learnt the secret. All right, let's go. See how cool the keys are? They're like the big fat keys that are oh, you should have shown shaped them and awesome. The All right, we'll keep going up. There is a key. Whoa. That's like the key to the city or something. What does that unlock? We'll have to find out the secret of the key. Probably like <laughs> This is a bedroom. It's got a wooden floor, which is different. Oh, look, a trap door. Is it a real trap door? Other than that, this is a pretty ordinary kind of room. You know, there's a plaster ceiling, it's got which is shocking. Oh, it does have buttresses, which is a bit nice. And it has a big crack. Yeah, that's cool. And it's got like a nice view up there. And you know what comes out of cracks? Silence. Ah, it's a crack in time. Ah. Here's the bathroom. Now, the exciting thing about the bathroom is that it actually has a door that we can reach. <laughs> so there's no actual light in here it seems. Oh yeah there is, it's just that the light switch doesn't work. And then there's this latch which doesn't actually latch onto anything. Alright, so these steps are really quite steep. Especially no this one. That. Look at that. Hup. 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 In this area, we have a nice kind of corridor area, but more importantly, you can't see it now because it's all dried up because it hasn't rained in two days, which is a big surprise. Normally it's raining constantly, but this was a big leaky patch of water. It was pretty awesome. Uh, you can still see the little kind of driblets 
where the where the water ran down the stone, but you can't see any. There's no actual moisture. The ceiling was droplets all the way along, and they would drip down, and it would be a constant. Drip, drip, drip. It smells like castle in yeah, here. It does smell. Yeah. Sort of musty, sort of curtain. Here we have a beautiful little alcove thing Ooh. and an urn containing ashes. The Sweet dead toast. king. And it has a coat rack where I put my hat when I'm not wearing it, which is never. Let's go. <laughs> so behind this door are the battlements. Are the battlements. And one final bedroom. It's wet. And I got my socks on. So I'll just take my socks off. Okay, let's go. Ah. Oh. So <laughs> here we are on the battlements where it's really cold, especially the floor. If you look over the edge, you see that we're quite high, but not as high as, oh, my feet are so cold. Ah, in here, we have the master bedroom, which is all the way at the top. Ow. Up there is like a secret alcove. And here is a cot. An ancient. Hey, there's like a little alcove. But what could be through this door, you ask? More battlements. You gotta, you gotta see the uh, how cold it is. So it's pretty cold, but it's a nice view, and. Um, Oh, it's so cold. And oh, 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 wow. I think that concludes our little tour. If you want more information, look up Tower of Halba on Wikipedia. I'm going to go back in and get my socks on and go in front of the fire because it's cold. Signing off. Bye. That's all for now, but you can follow my travels through Europe by subscribing to this channel, liking the Traveller Cuz Facebook page, and checking out my blog, travellercuz.blogspot.com.